Hello and welcome to another edition of Online Theatre School. My name is Lawrence Kavanagh and today we're going to be looking at a keyword, proxemics. Now proxemics can be used in rehearsals, but it can also be used in real life performances. Quite simply, proxemics is the space and distance between actors to convey a message, to tell the audience something without having to speak or utter a word. A quick example, if you look at those three images there on the PowerPoint, you'll see that each of those pictures tells us a story without us having to actually hear what the people are saying. If you look at Obama and Clinton, not only do their facial expressions tell us something, but the space between them starts to give us an insight into their relationship. If you look at the middle picture, there's no friction there, but the middle picture shows us by that space that they don't know each other, that they're strangers. And in the last picture, we can see that someone's been excluded. All three of those pictures have no captions or no words, but through the use of proxemics, the space and distance between them, we can tell a story. I want you to visualise a bus stop, okay? Now, you're an audience member looking in at this bus stop. You're sitting there watching and there's no words being spoken. Two friends arrive at that bus stop. How do we know they're friends? Well, as actors, those two characters would probably stand next to each other. So already, the clue that they're friends is that they're stood next to each other. The proxemics between them is close. Then, two strangers arrive at the bus stop. Now, do those two strangers stand next to the two friends? Probably not. They'll probably find somewhere else near the bus stop where they're a bit distant. Again, without anyone having to say a word, if I was an audience member, I would automatically know that those two strangers didn't actually know the two friends by the way they'd use the space and distance between the two characters. You may have heard this phrase before, show, don't tell. So proxemics, the characters close together usually shows an element of unity or support and further away shows problems or isolation. Now that's not necessarily true. So for example, if you're doing a scene where someone's being bullied, they might be really close up and intensely looking at each other's faces and come really close. By using space and distance between two characters, you can find shortcuts into giving information to the audience. And that's what's great about proxemics. You can instantly tell what a character is feeling or something that's happened between two characters by using the space between them. You don't need to always say it in the script. You don't need to always tell the audience what's happening. You don't need to stand at the front with a microphone explaining the scene. Instead, you can use the space and the distance to tell the audience information, to convey a meaning through proxemics. So look again closely at these photographs. What does the space and distance, the proxemics, tell us about these characters? Remember, we don't have any information. We are just observers looking in. Already I can tell by that two couple really, really close that there is love, that there is romance, that there is lust between them. I can tell by the woman in the middle. They often say the loneliest place is in a crowd. That's what those proxemics are showing in that picture. And then lastly, I can see by his head bowed down and that small gap between them that they've had an argument. The space and distance between two actors can tell a story. Space is being used to communicate meaning. No words are spoken and yet we know what is going on. That is a powerful tool in rehearsals. That is a powerful tool in a performance. So how can you use proxemics? So I've got a little task for you. You can do this in pairs or you can also do it in groups. What I want you to do is include no speech in this. No talking, no dialogue, just freeze frames. If you're unsure what a freeze frame is or how to create a good freeze frame, there's a video on the online theatre school that explains freeze frames. So, firstly, it's going to be in five sections. Section number one, person A and B are friends. I want you to communicate that you're friends just by using proxemics, just by using the space and distance between the characters. Freeze frame two, you have an argument. How can you show that you've had an argument just by using the space and distance between the actors? Number three, you do not speak for days. Hmm. Remember, you're telling a story to the audience, but you're not speaking using no dialogue whatsoever. Number four, person A 
apologizes, but person B is not ready to forgive. And lastly, person A and B become friends again. So the audience cannot hear a thing. They are just watching you. How can you tell this story? How can you give meaning? How can you convey and communicate a message just by using the space and distance between you? That is proxemics. So hopefully that's clear. And hopefully you'll be able to use proxemics in a way to communicate meaning to your audience. Remember, good theatre doesn't have to always tell. Sometimes it's best to show. Sometimes the most dramatic moments can be in silence, using the pause, using the space, using the stage. You don't have to always speak your thoughts, show your thoughts. And one way of doing that is through proxemics. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the Online Theatre School. We have lots of online free lessons as well as interviews with industry professionals. See you soon.